you know, in your method is such that you're, you know, breaking a lot of, of old habits that a lot of us have. And from our vast experience, we sometimes can't help ourselves to want to uh, bring value to the table quickly. So is there some tools or practices or things that we could use to kind of help ourselves despite ourselves to not go down that path? Uh, maybe some trigger things um, aside from obviously practicing for it, but to not to not allow something to let us go down the path that we're so common, we're so used to doing. Great question. And I think the simplest way to begin to shift away from your old habits is a picture, a visual picture of you wearing a doctor smock and a name tag. And behind you, it has a certificate from wherever. And you're a doctor and you're talking to a patient. Doctors don't try, don't educate or provide advice until after they've done a full diagnostic to determine the actual problem and the impact of it. And then they write a treatment plan, a plan of how to fix it. They don't try and fix it because you can't fix it on the first visit. Then, of course, the patient goes and pays the doctor for his time, not for solving the problem, but for just diagnosing it and laying out a roadmap of how to fix it. I think if you just think about that model, think about that process and that picture of yourself, that will then force you and make you aware not to insert, quote, value, information, education, premature to that process occurring. Does that make sense? Yes. I like that. That analogy works really well if I can just keep remembering it. Yeah. I just got to remember that that doctor model and and. I mean, literally, if we just mirror what they do and apply to what you do and don't add things in from our past, then you'll start to see things change right away in terms of your own habits because um, you'll find yourself being more aware when you're jumping in early or talking too much. You'll feel uncomfortable doing that because you realize, oh, wait a second. My job is to listen, to unpack, to analyze, diagnose, do an MRI, so to speak, before I can lay out a treatment plan, in your case, a roadmap of what the process is for solve the problem. So so any information or ideas or content all, all has to occur once they've agreed to the plan. So just think about the sequence of those events. Then you'll know when to insert what and when. Once you kind of get that model in, in your mind down, I think that's the best, the fastest way to get this clicking in your brain. I think I need to get a wristband that says WWYDD. What would your doctor do? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Just keep pulling it. Remind yourself. That's like my sister used to take these airplane flights because she was afraid of flights, and they have a little rubber band. They said, "Just all pull the rubber band, and remember, you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay." <laughs> Thank you. All right. Good to see you, Thomas.